All right. This one's huge. This is a huge one. This is Eat the D. And I'm not saying it's huge as in people have probably, I mean, you guys may have heard of this place. I don't know. But it's huge in the sense that it is somewhere I very, very excited to go. It's uh, Howie's Bayou in Ferndale. Uh, I was spo- I wanted to go last week. It's a week after I originally intended to film. But at the end of the week, I felt quite ill and lost my ability mostly to taste stuff, which when you run a food center YouTube channel, uh, is a qu- it's a speed bump to say the least. At the very least, it's a speed bump. But I'm feeling better. Not 100%, but definitely still feeling better. I can taste again. I got a little bit of a headache. As you might be able to hear, my nose is not quite 100%. But I feel like probably 90%, but like 90% of the way there, I guess. I don't know. But Howie's Bayou, it's like Louisiana, Southern U.S. food. Ooh, this is my kind of food, baby. I absolutely, I want to get, I want to go to New Orleans so bad. And I'd say a solid 70% of that reason is just so I can go eat places in New Orleans. That's, that's how much I love seafood, down south cooking, southern hospitality. Uh, so when I, I was so, I was so stoked to go to this place. Like I was pissed. I got sick cause I was so excited to eat here. I almost did it anyway, but I figured it wouldn't be fair to the restaurant if I can't taste that well, but we're here. I'm technically here. I just got out of the wild robot, cried about five or six times during it. Cause I'm a sap for stuff like that, but I'm down the road. So they, they're right on Woodward. They don't have a uh, parking lot. So I'm down the road. I'm te- technically in my parking spot to go there. So let's get let's head over to that restaurant, baby. Let's get some food. Another episode, eat the D. Let's get it, baby. here we're in the building uh, I'm starting out with the voodoo shrimp which really throws a wrench in the mix because I was gonna get the shrimp po boy but I feel like I can't do that so maybe I'll get the catfish po boy and then the uh... shit I don't even know no I'll get the uh, voodoo chicken po boy yeah Oh, no, I'll get the fried oyster, poor boy. There we go. So I'll get the voodoo shrimp as it for an app. And then I'm going to take the uh, fried oyster, po' boy. And then the catfish, et du fait. And maybe squeeze in the dessert, too. I'm definitely bringing boxes home, that's for sure. Typically, I'd, uh, as you guys know, I'd only get one entree, but th- th- this, is, this is my kind of place. So I got, I got to get two entrees here. It all just seems too good, so... I'll, I'll let you know once the shrimp gets here. Okay, we're here. I got the uh, voodoo shrimp, as you saw. He said this was the uh, go-to appetizer. So I was like, sure, why not? 
and then I put an order for the fried oyster, the fried oyster po' boy, catfish etouffee, and then the uh, some slaw and some collards as well. So, but you know me, I love shrimp. Mm. The shrimp is cooked amazingly. Texture is perfect. It's like got that little bit of fight back when you bite into it. Nothing crazy. This uh, their signature voodoo sauce. Oh my god. Ah, what's it taste like? I know I've tasted it before, stuff like this before, but I don't know what it's like. But it honestly tastes like the shrimp. It said, hey, how you doing? Quite frankly, I could have just gotten like a triple order of that and I would have been satisfied. That's how good that shrimp was. It's almost not like... Maybe like a little bit of an earthy taste to it, but it's just so good. This voodoo sauce, dude. This brown sauce. Ooh. Oh yeah. It's got a little bit of heat to it, but not too much. I can like definitely feel it, but it's not lighting me up. That was very good, so I'm very excited to try this uh, oyster po' boy and catfish etoupe. So, as well as the sides, so I'll report back once those get out, but the appetizer, we're off to a flying start, ladies and gentlemen. Oh boy, I got a lot of food here. Uh, I guess I'll just start with what's, let's start with the sides, actually. Let me move this catfish aside for now. Let's try this slaw. There's definitely a lot going on with the slaw. Whoops, just knocked some on the floor. Very, very earthy slaw. There's a lot of some seasoning. Maybe it's like oregano or something. I don't know. But it's heavily on there. Definitely do not like it as much as normal slaw. But it's not bad. It's, uh, yeah, it's just like super earthy tasting. Like a lot of seasoning on that. It's a lot of some specific seasoning. Not bad. But let's try these collards. They got chicken or turkey mixed right in with it. It's one of those things that tastes like as soon as you bite into it, it's like, whoo, that hits you in the back of the throat. Mm. Very, uh, I'd say it's very vinegary. I like that kind of flavor group at least. Turkey's nice. Nice and wet and juicy, as collard should be. I was a little upset there was no okra on the menu, but nonetheless. Between the slaw, <clears throat> between the slaw and the collard greens, definitely like the collard greens more. But now, let's try out this catfish etouffee. Get a good piece of here. And served with the dirty rice. Actually, let's try the dirty rice. It's in the gravy. With the etouffee sauce, I should say. Spicy. It's got like some mixed with some andouille or whatever it's called. Seasoning. Oh, it's like some. I think there's like beef in here. Beef or pork, some kind of meat. Soury peppers. Really good. Uh, that's probably my favorite side of them all. And with the, the collards, a short second. Well, let's try this catfish. There's practically no need to even chew the catfish. That's how tender it is. The moment I get it in my mouth, it's breaking down and I'm swallowing it. But once again, spicy. The sauce is adding some cream to it. I got a blackened. You can also get catfish fried. It's not quite the same sauce that was on the, uh, the vo it's not that voodoo sauce, but it is very good. So let's rearrange plates here so I can get the shrimp po' boy in front of me. Let's try the kettle chips. That's not where I thought that would break. Mm. Real thick cut.
Add some good salt, some good pepper on it. Alright, it's good. The shrimp po' boy has the Cajun slaw right on it. But I also get a side of the sauce. So, let's dop it up, see what we think. Thank you. Okay, so now that I ate half the sandwich, um, it's really good. <clears throat> the shrimp is nice and crispy. The sauce I put on it, nice and tangy. But I really like, I really like that slaw more as like an accoutrement on a sandwich versus on its own because when it's on the sandwich there's so many other flavors going on it's able to uh, it's able to pull some of that attention away uh, from like whatever herb that saw is seasoned with that's coming through oh so so strongly uh, but the uh, so the the, the shrimp po' boy is very good. And with that lemon I squeezed on it, ooh, that's good. Why did I just put that on the table? What kind of pleb am I? But it's really good. Um, so everything I've had so far, honestly, we started out, we started out, we started out hot. That voodoo shrimp is, I think, is my favorite thing, followed by that catfish, and then probably the po' boy. But make no mistake, it's all quite good. I was gonna eat the po' boy and take the catfish home, but I think it's gonna have to be the other way around. And they did have some dessert online. I haven't seen any in the menu. So when the waiter comes by and asks for it, I'll see what we got. Otherwise, I'll wrap this video up in the car. All right, so they do have dessert. I got an order of the uh, bread pudding, which I've never had before. But there's a first time for everything. You know me, I'm, I'm not afraid to try new things. So once it gets out here, we'll see what we think. So, I had just recorded part of most of that in slow mo. But here's the the bread pudding. Uh, it's really good. It's got like some cinnamon in it. The ice cream with the hot and the cold contrast is nice. It's got almond, so it's very nutty. It reminds me of uh, like uh, like pecan pie, and it's quite delicious. I could eat. I would eat bread pudding every day if it all was this good. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, Howie's Bayou in Ferndale. I'm a fan. I have to get that voodoo shrimp if you're ever here. But hey, don't take it from me. Come try it out yourself. Get that voodoo shrimp. Get the same stuff. I did get different stuff. Whatever you want to do. I, I would come back here again in a heartbeat and just explore the menu and get all kinds of good stuff. But thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like button. It goes a long way for us here at Milkman Media. Hit that uh, subscribe button so you don't miss any upcoming food or video game stuff. And uh, I suck in the comments. I had to think about that. Now me, I love this Bayou food. What's your favorite type of food? Because this is up there for me. It's like this Southern Bayou food. I call it, I guess. Any, I like sea anything seafood. I'm all about. But that's right up there with like. Pizza, burgers, hot dogs. I'm a man of simple pleasures, but then it's like, this stuff is like my bread and butter. Like I said, I gotta get down to New Orleans and just take a food tour of the city or something. But, then, once, but let me hear in the comments, what's your favorite? What's your favorite bayou dish? What's your favorite type of food? Anything I wanna hear about. But ladies and gentlemen, that was very good. I'm gonna finish up this bread pudding. I'm gonna skedaddle out of here. Thanks for watching once again, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.